Yo, 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 what it do, YouTube? Once again, it's your boy, Big Chris, man, that NSAK representative back at you once again, boy. Coming back at you, man. I know uh, it's been a minute, man, but shit, man, here it is, man. Here go the new video uh, to the uh, auto transport trailer, man. I know I left y'all with the box on the last video of my uh, El Camino. So, um, I've been done with it now for approximately about, shit, it's been probably about two weeks now, man, but I've just been neglecting the goddamn, uh, do the video and shit, so, man, goddamn, here go the video now, you know what I mean, so, yeah, um, this it right here, man, this the auto transport by Reveal, man, you see it, see it right there. Uh, this wasn't a bad kit to put together, man. You know what I'm saying? The instructions were decent, but they had you goddamn confused on a lot of little shit too. But you know, for the most part, though, it was it wasn't a bad thing to goddamn you know put together and shit. So I made a lot of references to the box. You know what I'm saying? When it came to putting certain certain parts and shit on, you know what I'm saying? Because the 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 instructions were hella janky, man. They didn't give you no idea how to put the shit on or where to put it on. Like, like when it comes to putting these little, these little um, hoses, connect hose connectors and shit. If you can see it right there, the little hose connectors and shit that's going, that's connected to the hose, like the air hoses and all that old shit. You can see one right there. You see the hose connected to it and shit. They didn't even show you where to put that shit on the in the instructions. They didn't show you where to put that shit. I literally had to come back to the cover of the box and see where all those shits were located to actually put them shits on the trailer. And I was like, that's some bullshit, man. And some of the hoses, man, that shit was so crazy, man. Trying to explain that shit to y'all, man. Y'all will be like, what the fuck? But, you know, if y'all got this trailer, man, and, you, you know, you go to putting this motherfucker together, man, when you get to that part to putting the hoses and, and, and the connectors and shit on, it'll kind of come into play, man, to like how, you know what I'm saying, do it how you want to do it and shit. And, um, yeah, you know, it, 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 it'll line up for you, man. Because it, it kind of worked out for me, man. I kind of put A and B together, man. And, you know, did my thing, man. So, got down. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I put it together, man. Got it all worked out and whatnot, man. I got the little chains and shit. If you can see the little chains and shit, I got all that on there, man. I got the little hoses on there and shit. Like I said. Um... Yeah, man, this this trailer was crazy. But I'm going to tell y'all one thing, though, man. When you get this trailer, man, it's a lot of little pieces. I ain't going to say little, but it's a lot of pieces to this trailer, man. Like, this this side right here, this side is, this side is one whole piece right here. This little piece is one whole piece. All this shit here you got to put together. All this little shit up here you got to put together. This little part back here you got to put together. Even the, this red part that you see right here, you got to put that shit together. The bracket back in the back together. Whatever you do, and I learned it from my own mistake. Like I said, I've never claimed to be the best at any of this shit when it comes to modeling. But do not paint this motherfucker first before you put it together. Like, my best advice to anybody who has this trailer paint this shit as you go you know what i'm saying when, when you when you can start seeing what's gonna be what and what's gonna sit where that's when you should start painting so re-up on your brushes your paint brushes and uh your little jars of paint your little tester jars of paint and your, your spray paint or whatever or um, you can, once you figure out what part is going where well and what, you know, how it's going to be and how it's going to sit, then I guess you can paint it and then put it together. But that's going to take a lot of time because now you got to wait for that fucking paint to dry. Give it time for that shit to cure. 
You know what I mean? So when you start touching it, it ain't leaving fingerprints and shit. But, yeah, it's, it's, it, you know, you could go that route. But me, I went the asshole route, and I just painted. Well, I started off by painting this bottom piece, as you can see right here. The same color is red. I was going to do the whole truck the same color, but my chrome or gray paint that I had, I ran out of it, and I was like, fuck. Uh, yeah, I do whatever. I do whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? So, I, uh, I painted the whole fucking trailer just red. Painted the whole fucking thing just red, which was a dumbass mistake I shouldn't have did. But, um, it still worked out, you know what I mean? And the reason why I say don't paint it before you get it together, because some of these little pieces... As you can see, got like little holes in it. You got to stick one part of that shit into these little holes. And uh, right here, it's little pegs. And ho this little, see these little holes right here? You got a little peg that got to go into that to keep this up in the air. Because this goes down and up and down into that, into these little slots. So, I painted all, like I said, I painted all this shit one color, man. And once I painted it, man... That shit was not going down into these pegs like it's supposed to, man. I had to go in and uh, grind some of the paint off, man, so that shit can slide up and down in there. Had to grind some of the paint off, some of the little pegs that, that got to sit up in here. Uh, they got to be glued. Yeah, glue. Yeah, you glue them or just sit them in there or whatever. But I then I even had to go back. I even had to go back once I... Once I did that I had to go back and open these holes up a little bit so I took my Dremel and I had to open these holes up a little bit so instead of them being that way when they came in the box I opened them up just a little bit more so you know things can you know do what they got to do and whatnot but it actually turned out pretty decent man I can't print man it turned out pretty decent man and uh you know, I got it together and whatnot. Like this is the this is my second box right here. Like this is a brand new box right here. This is my second one. I got the first one built already. This is the second one that's still in the box. So I got two of them. So this that's the second one still in the box. And the first one is done already behind this box. So that's what I'm about to show y'all now. Cause I've been talking for seven minutes and some change. So I don't know y'all been like, when the fuck is he gonna show the damn thing? So here it is. There it is. There go the trailer, the auto transport trailer. As you can see, I got the little chains in and shit. And got them, and got them in. They supposed to be up top, so when you got an automobile up top, you can connect the chains to the to the to the car so that you know it won't you won't lose it off the trailer or whatever. Yeah, I know I had to come in here and put put the club name on that bitch. NSAK to the day, you heard me? Showing off them fleets, you feel me? So it's NAK NSAK fleets. You know what I mean? So as y'all can see, this motherfucker red. I painted the whole goddamn truck red. But then I realized I had a chrome, not chrome, I'm sorry. I had a silver marker, paint marker. And when I realized I had that silver paint marker, I painted this first. I painted them two first, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to paint the rest of them silver, too. So that's what I did. I took that marker, and I painted, I painted the rest of them silver. As y'all can see, that's the... That's the marker right there. That's the silver marker right there. That paint marker that I use. That's it right there. That's a that's a gold one. That's a regular marker, and that's a gloss black marker and a regular marker. But yeah, that's the chrome. That's, I keep saying chrome. That's the silver marker that I use, and and I broke up a lot of that red. Cause that shit would have just been all red. That shit would have been just kind of ugly you feel me so i took that 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 silver marker and hit the hit the base of it hit the hit the tracks of it 
And uh, I think that made it look a whole lot different, man. A whole lot, a whole lot better, I should say. And uh, yeah, it gave her, it gave her a, a better, distinguished kind of look. You know what I mean? So I'm really happy about that shit. So that's the look of it, man. And then I tried to paint like these little hydraulic pumps right here that, that you know built into molded into the side i tried to paint them black and i was gonna paint the like the inside of the two the hydraulic pump silver or whatever but i just didn't get to it and do it i painted the ladders on them black there's one on the other side over there you can kind of see it right there yeah i painted that black there go another hydraulic pump and now uh, here's the the hydraulic hoses I was telling you about, like the control arms to the to the to the hoses and whatnot. I got all that I got all that put in. Those are the hoses. Little just little rubber tube hoses that came with the kit for you to put on. You know, as you can see it. You can see it right there, the hose connected and shit. It's, it, it, it's one on each side, one right here, one right there. And then one right here, one on the other side. You can see it, kind of see it right there. And then there's one up top. You can kind of see it right there. And then there's one under the bottom here. Go on that side and this side. And then you got the one back in the back. One right there and one on the other side right there. So I got all the hoses hooked up. Then there's like two, two more Two more connectors under the very under the very bottom of the trailer. It's like two more under there that some of the hoses are going to. But I don't want to flip it over, you know. Uh, I mean I can flip it a little bit. Let me see. Show y'all what the bottom look like. There we go. But yeah, as you can see, got the hose hose connected and shit up on the helm. Going to both sides of the trailer. Then there's one right there. That's going to kind of like both sides of the trailer. Got the spare tires and shit. Got the airbags for the back, you know. But that's basically, that's basically, oh shit. Some bitch out of focus. Yeah. Oh. Well, there we go. And as y'all can see, that's why I had some tape at while I was painting it. And I was like, that's going to be under the bottom. So that ain't going to be seen. So yeah, yeah, what it is. Got the trailer hitch. You know what I'm saying? The hitch on to the trailer. Uh, the tractor, rather. That's the feet to keep, the, you know, to help the truck stand up. But I got to redo them. So what I probably have to do is pop them loose. And redo them because right now, the bitches are stuck in place. From when I glued it, it's stuck in place. I tried to move it, but I, well, I was unsuccessful with that shit. So, but yeah, that's the uh, that's the bottom of the trailer. Um, uh, these right here, the little pins I was telling you, the little peg. It's the little pig, you know what I'm saying? Hold on. I don't know why that's sitting there. I hope that's not showing on the screen or whatever. But these are the little pig that come with it. They're supposed to stick in here and keep the uh keep this bar from laying down when you got a when you got a automobile up there. But this is what I was saying though. You can see see how it's red here? And then it turned out gray right here. Yeah, I had to grind some of the paint off so it can go in and out this shaft right here. But to me, I don't think it's long enough because I think the tip, I think the very tip of this is about right. Probably about right there. Because if I let it up just a little bit more, that shit gonna pop right out. And you can see it's already just flimsy. And with this right here, this didn't come with the, uh, yeah, see that? that. This didn't come with this kit. I actually put this on here because I ran out of this chain 
I was cutting them, I guess, a little too long. But what I actually did was try to even them. I tried to even them all up to the same length once I actually got them on the truck. And I was supposed to have, I guess, from the instructions, I was supposed to have some chain left over to actually connect to this peg to this corner here where I ran out. So I had some black thread. But the black thread was sitting all up. You'll see it in one of them pictures I posted on Instagram. The, the thread was hanging all up in the air and shit. It just didn't look right. So I took that shit off and I added these. I was like, yeah, that's better than that damn thread. You know. So. But yeah, this actually, this this part actually, it actually goes up and down. I guess I can show y'all. But it actually goes up and down. That's about as far. That's about as far as it could go. The other pieces that goes to this, I left them in the closet, and I don't feel like going to get them right now. But it's actually a two pieces that's supposed to sit. My bad, I had all out of screen. It's two pieces that supposed to go right here, like a little short ramp that comes about. It's about right here. Comes out till about right there. It's just two little short ramps. And then it's uh some extra long ramps. They about they about that long that connects to them so the car would drive up from here to there. You know what I mean? It it won't be touching these at all. I know you're gonna be like I know you'll be like, damn, why this shit ain't you know, 'cause I was looking like, damn, don't they put the touch don't they put the lay down and touch touch that? But nope. It's, it's extra ramps that go to there. They in the closet, so like I say. So, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to leave that down for right now. But, yeah. Uh, it's not a whole lot to talk about with this trailer, man. Like I say, it is a little work to do. You know what I'm saying? Once you get started on it and whatnot. And, uh, like I said, you're going to have to kind of figure out a way to get it painted as you go. Or, what you can do... Now that I just thought about it, when you paint it, cause see these the little peg holes I was talking about. They gotta go in, cause see which one is it? See, see how it moves. So you gotta have you gotta have it where it will go in there easy. It's in it's in it's in each one of these little spots, man. That you gotta have this little peg, them little peg holes loose. And uh, yeah. Uh, what I was thinking was tape off, tape off, tape off the little pegs. You know what I'm saying? And I get put something in the middle when you get ready to paint it. Stick something in the middle of that. And uh, my bad. I keep getting y'all out of focus or whatever because I'm I'm not actually looking at the screen. I'm looking at the actual vehicle itself. Or, you know, over the screen, but. Yeah, tape the little pegs off with a little piece of tape or whatever. Make sure it's on that good. And then put you like get you like a toothpick or a safety pin or a gym clip rather. Get you a gym clip that's kind of about the size of it. Stretch it out and put it in there. Stick it in there so when you paint it, it, it won't it won't paint up the little hole on the inside. And then when you paint the peg, it won't paint up the peg. They'll still be they'll be straight enough to go. So. Like I say, I didn't I didn't come up with all this idea until really just now of showing y'all this video. So I know how to hit my next trailer. And uh Yeah, this the tra oh yeah man. Some bitch got little tools and shit. Got little I got the little gloves and tools and shit. Now one thing I'm gonna tell y'all about D. Be careful. I hope you got some like some little tiny little Little blade snips or some little blade cutters or something. Don't use scissors. Don't use wire cutters. And not even, don't even use, I guess you can use fingernail clippers or whatever. But when I literally tell you, you can see it right there at the tip of my nail. Right there on the four, the, uh, four way lug. You can, you can kind of see it right, right there. That was something that broke off right there when I was trying to get it off the tree. The hammer and the handle broke off when I tried to get it off the tree. 
one of the uh socket set one of the end pieces broke off while i was trying to get it off the tree one of those socket pieces broke off while i was trying to get it off the tree i was like god damn how did was it how was they expecting you to get this shit off if they was gonna break like that like god damn uh, I was gonna paint the gloves, but I was like, nah, I'm gonna just leave them like that. And just glue them down like that. So I was like, fuck it, yeah, what it is. So, yeah, those are the tools and shit. Uh, yeah, and that's pretty much it, man. That's it for the, uh, trailer. So, uh, what I'll probably do now, I'm gonna pause the video and I'm gonna add some calls to it. So y'all can see what it looks like with the cars to it. And then I'm going to add my uh, my F650 Cruiser cab uh, shop truck to it. But that's, that's the truck I'm going to have up under it. You know what I'm saying? To make it look like it's putting it from there and now. That's what, that's, that's what I'm going to have on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the video right now. And when we come back, I'm going to have some vehicles on here with the shop truck in the front making it look like it's putting it so just hang on for a sec all right we back so as y'all can see i got a couple of cars on here wait a minute i got something a little too close there we go as y'all can see got a couple of cars on got a couple of my my models on here that's my uh that's my cruiser cab F650 that I'm going to redo. I'm going to uh, probably repaint it. I'm going to put some different wheels on it. Uh, I don't know how custom I'm going to go with it, but it's die cast. So it's not too much of what I can do with it, but I know I might try to repaint it. I definitely know I'm going to go with some different wheels for it. And, uh, yeah, that's my shop truck right there. That's going to be the truck to pull this trailer. And as y'all can see, uh, I got about six vehicles on there. Well, five and a half vehicles. The box says six vehicles, but I couldn't get six on there. Uh, not to fit comfortable like it should. You know what I mean? But as you can see, I got Goldilocks on him. I got the new El Camino I just did, Blue Streak on him. I got the Peace Up, A-Time Down, Four Wheel on him. I got the Black Widow, Regal on him. I got the Assassin Creed, Burt Don't on him. And I got the Chevy Suburban the Red Baron. So, yeah. That's it. We got that one sitting on here pretty nicely. And bring y'all in a little closer, just like I showed on the ground. They got the titles in the windshield. Each one of them, except for the four wheeler. You can see the title on the dashboard of the Red Bear. Good interior. Good interior. Good view of the interior on that rascal. Uh, oh, yeah. I killed them with that. They ain't even... They, ain't even, they don't even remember that. And they say K on them wheels like some Portiatos. T-top. With the with the TV sun visor, let me get out the light. With the TV sun visors, just like the same TV sun visors in in, in Blue Street. Can't hardly see it though. But look over there. Look over there on Blue Street. You can kind of see it a little bit right there. Got the title inside of her. Got the title inside the window on the Black Widow. Got the title inside the window of uh, 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 Goldilocks. Only one that don't have a title on it is the four wheeler because I ain't had nowhere to put it. So I just left it like a wall. But yeah, 
out of focus. But yeah, um, uh, that's the trailer, man. That's the trailer. And uh, y'all know me, man. I put NSAK on everything I do, man. I told y'all that from now on, even the shop truck. When I uh, when I when I redo the shop truck, it's gonna have a tag on it or, or something somewhere on it. Uh, they say NSAK, but everything, everything, everything gonna have NSAK on it. If it focuses, yep. See that license plate, NSAK. Yeah, even the check the charge out here. Even the trailer, even the trailer got an NSAK plate on it. You know what I mean? The El Camino got an NSAK on. The only reason I did in it, the El Camino plate like that, because I couldn't find my license plate. And then I didn't find them. Yeah. Goldilocks with her with her plate. The goddamn Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech license plate. Yep. But the only reason I didn't do the El Camino with a license plate because I didn't find my license plate until after I opened this particular kit's box and realized that I throw the plates in that box. And I was so upset because I couldn't find my damn license plates. And I'm like, what the hell did I do with my license plates? So when I did them license plates and then I took the trail out, I was like, I'll be damned. There go my license plates. But yeah, man, this video has been going on for about 27 minutes now. So yeah, that's the trailer. That's the trailer with, with 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 the whips on it. As you can see. And then that's the vehicle that's gonna be pulling the trailer to all the car shows. The X the F six fifty crew uh cruiser cab or whatever it's called, you know what I mean? So yeah. That's the shop truck and uh Yeah. So, uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video, uh, like, dislike, leave a comment, subscribe, um, uh, let me know what y'all think about it, man. And until then, it's your boy Big Chris signing off, man, NSAK representative, king of clean. Till next time. Oh, no, next time. I can't do it just yet, because I got to leave y'all with what I'm going to do next. Like I always do. So, here is my next. Hold on, let me get this cord from up under here. I knew it was going to ease its way up under there. But here is my next bill. The Monogram Trans Am Street Machine. Now, I don't have a clue of how I actually want to do this car. But... It's going to get done. I don't know what color I'm going to paint it. I don't know what wheels I'm going to put on it. Uh, I know I want to open the doors on it. I know I want to open the trunk on it. It already come T-top with the glass. So that's that's a plus. Um, scoops on the hood. You know, the wide fenders. You know, the flared out fenders, I mean. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, comes with a decent motor in it already. Yeah, so, and it's a used kit. Not used, but it's, 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 it's a new kit. You see everything still in plastic. The box has just been open and shit, but it's a, it's, it's, it's a brand new kit. You know what I'm saying? The box is old and open, so, yeah. That's, that is my next model. That I'm going to build my next kit. I'm going to build. So y'all stay out. Y'all stay on the lookout for that. And um, this is going to pretty much be the end of this video, man. Uh, thank y'all for subscribing, checking out my video. 
And uh, rocking with y'all, rocking with your boy for this long, man. I appreciate each and every one of y'all, man. So, to the next video, peace.